Hello, welcome to a Civilization 6 Guides, Tips, and Tricks video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, a mechanic in multiplayer called Shift Entering. When you should be using it, um, and how to get the most out of it, what it actually does. So, uh, I just want to start with a brief history on the mechanic. So the mechanic... Um, it allows you to save production between turns, which allows you to keep production from previous turns and then use it all at once on um, one production, some one thing in your city. So originally in the base game of Civilization, this wasn't possible. Uh, if you ever tried to end your turn without uh, putting in something in your production queue, uh, you would lose all the production. Uh, with the expansion Rise and Fall, you used to be able to end your turn um, forcibly with uh, the combination of Shift and Enter key, and that would save your production. It would allow you to... Uh, keep the production over multiple turns, and that's how it got its name of Shift Enter for the mechanic. Um, currently, that, though, in Gathering Storm, uh, when you press Shift and Enter together, you lose all the production that's saved up in a city if you're using the trick. The trick now requires you to have a turn timer on, so I've just gone into a single player game with a 30 second turn timer. And at the end of your turn, if you haven't clicked any production in your city, so right now I just finished building a settler just to show this trick off. Um, I have five turns left on a new settler. You can, if your timer runs out, you are then able to keep the production in the city as many turns as you want. So this is extremely useful for um, things like settlers um, or big wonders that you want to grab early. Another mechanic that wasn't in Rise and Fall and is now a part of Gathering Storm that makes this trick even stronger is that if you go into your government policy, so right now I have the game policy, it's a little hard to see, but I have urban planning and a bunch of garbage other policies just for sort of demonstration purposes. Um, so I have nothing that's amplifying any form of production. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show off shift entering for this next settler. So you can see that it's five turns right now. So, feasibly, if I shift enter for four turns and then click on the settler, um, I should be able to get it. But, because I don't have any amplifying cards on. So, I'm going to unpause the game. I'm going to wait a few turns. So, I'm going to let the timer run out. And what it will do is it'll keep this so currently i have the one production card on so i'm getting an extra production every turn but at the when i click the production to that i'm shift entering for in here so now you can see four turns i haven't clicked on anything but all the stuff in my city has gone down by one turn of production and then i can just click whatever and apply that saved production i'm gonna wait again one more turn just so that it goes down another turn. So now we see that we're at three turns for a settler. I'm going to change to Drowman Poetry so I can change my cards and apply the 50% card. What this is going to, for settlers, what this is going to do is that all this saved production I have in Majifit 
is going to then be amplified by 50%. So let's just wait out this timer. So now you're seeing that, oh, look, it's still two turns. Okay. So click on this. And what will happen is when this turn rolls over, the seller will instantly complete, even though it show, it displays two turns. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Settler pops out. So with this sort of oversight by Firaxis in the Gathering Storm update, you can essentially apply cards retroactively to production your work. So this makes the urban planning card really strong early game because you can set up a bunch of cities to shift enter um, settlers or like maybe before um, craftsmanship, which gets you the Agoji card. So if I go into here, Goji card, Maneuver card, you can shift enter um, units and then apply those cards and the shift entered production will be applied through that modifier. So that gives you a pretty, um, a pretty huge advantage over opponents who do not do this. And um, in multiplayer games, you'll probably see this a lot in sort of top tier players. Um, especially people who are going for wins. Um, you'll, there are a few situations in which this strategy is not useful, but a lot of the time it's quite overpowered. Um, there's a few things to just take note of, though, when you are using this. Uh, the first is that when I've shift-entered all this, um, I actually purposely went over a little bit. Um, and everything is as though I have zero production, um, overflowed. So this is a five turn campus. I have 12 production per turn, basically at zero, even though with a 50% overflow on three turns of seller production, I should have at least a little bit of excess, but with shift entering, you're not going to get any of that excess. So... A lot of the time you don't want to do it down to the turn where it like instantly pops even though like a settler even though it would be displaying that it wouldn't be that turn because you'll just lose some production um, but most of the time this is a good technique another technique is if like you want to you have a couple of one turn civics you can pop out and you have shift entered production in a few cities you can maybe put on like a builder card for one turn and then swap it out and that'll allow you to get a little bit of extra production out of your cities um this technique was probably most famous um originally for allowing you to get temple of artemis on one city and around like 12 turns since you could just research animal husbandry and then archery and that would allow you to get the temple of artemis which is right here unfortunately it's paused because i just don't want the timer to run out um so getting key wonders is pretty useful in a culture victory setting you can use this along with the card over here it's on it's on state workforce i believe Right here, fifteen percent towards ancient and classical wonders. If you run the plus one production card for a while while you're shift entering, you can then apply this card right at the end, and it will shave off a few turns on your wonders. Another key thing to note is that um, city state bonuses for production um, will not apply during turns when you're shift entering. So, um, in the early game in the capital, if you have 
a few of the industrial city-states with envoys, or you have a few of the uh, militaristic city-states with envoys, you probably don't want to use this as much um, purely because you're just missing out on production unless you can really utilize the benefit. Um, to a large degree, you might want to just produce settlers and builders the normal way. But I just wanted to put out this video so that people understand how this mechanic works since it will definitely be used against you in a multiplayer setting. And it's just important to sort of know and understand these game mechanics, even sort of the bugs that are present in Civilization VI. Um, as a final note, um, a few of the late game uh, things that you'll want to use this technique for are in Science Victory. You're probably going to want to shift enter when you're around five to six turns from research labs, you'll want to shift enter your cities to set up research labs in them. This will allow you to get research labs online in your cities instantly, in a lot of them. Since research labs are a big ticket item, they usually take around like six to eight turns in decent cities, maybe a little bit lower in some really good cities but you can sort of circumvent that time gap between getting the tech and getting the payoff. Uh, again, you can also do this with uh, space race projects. So you can, you can shift enter spaceports and the spaceport projects. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.